Hi everyone. Today a look at the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases and a look at the relationship between acid conjugate base and base with conjugate acid. The Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases is a modified version of what we previously studied. Our earlier looks at acids and bases followed what we call the Arrhenius theory. That theory isn't comprehensive enough for us in our course right now, so that we're using a more modern definition named after these two gentlemen, Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Lowry. It has some similarities with our work on Arrhenius, however, it's definitely up another level. The definition of an acid in this framework is that acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. A proton is a hydrogen ion. So what we need to do in our minds is whenever we read or hear the word proton, what our minds need to register is hydrogen ion, H+. This means that because acids are proton donors and bases are receivers, that any acid-base reaction is a transfer of protons, a transfer of hydrogen ions from the acid to the base. In a reaction, then, an acid loses hydrogen ions, loses that proton, and it's going to turn into what we call the conjugate base. A base, on the other hand, accepts that proton, gains a hydrogen ion to become the conjugate acid. Here's three examples taking a look at that relationship. Here's hydrochloric acid reacting with liquid water in equilibrium with chloride ions and this H3O plus hydronium ions. You can see that the HCl became Cl minus. It lost hydrogen, but it also lost a positive charge. The water was H2O. It became H3O plus. It gained an H, went from H2 to H3, and went from neutral, not having a charge at all, to being positive. Because the HCl lost, that hydrogen ion donated that proton. It's the acid here in this system. And the water, H2O, gained that proton, accepted that H+. It's the base. The HCl lost a proton and turned into the conjugate base. The water gained a proton, it was a base, and it became the conjugate acid. This is important. My colors here aren't by acid and base. They're showing this pair relationship. An acid and the conjugate base are a pair. The base and the conjugate acid, likewise, a pair. The second example has ammonia, NH3, reacting with H2SO4, sulfuric acid. They're in equilibrium with ammonium, NH4+, and hydrogen sulfate ions. Ammonia here, NH3, became NH4+. It gained an H+, gained a proton. It's the base. The H2SO4 became HSO4-. It was H2. It's just H. It lost that hydrogen. It was neutral. It lost that positive charge. It became negative. The base, ammonia, gained an H+, to become the conjugate acid. That's a pair. The base and the conjugate acid are a pair. The acid lost a proton, lost that H plus to become the conjugate base. The acid and the conjugate base are likewise a pair. A third example, I have a hydrogen phosphate ion reacting with a carbonate ion in equilibrium with a phosphate ion and a hydrogen carbonate ion. Here, HPO4 2 minus loses an H plus to become PO4 3 minus. If it's losing an H, it's the acid. The, the acid loses that proton to become the conjugate base. Here, the carbonate ion CO3 2 minus gains H plus, becomes HCO3 1 minus. The base gains a proton to become a conjugate acid. When we look back at these three examples all together, we see that on the left-hand side of the reaction, we only have acid and base, A or B, acid and base. Whereas on the product side, 
that's where we see conjugate acid and conjugate base. We are never, with no exceptions, going to see a conjugate acid or conjugate base listed on the left-hand side of the reaction. So, we have a new definition of acids and bases. It's expanded beyond our earlier studies on Arrhenius. Now, acids are proton donors, bases are proton acceptors. And what's a proton? A hydrogen ion. So what we've been doing in these reactions is moving an H plus from the acid to the base. The acid loses a proton to become the conjugate base. The base accepts a proton, gains an H plus, to become the conjugate acid. Finally, the acid and the conjugate base are an acid-base pair. And also, the base and the conjugate acid represent a pair as well. And I hope that helps.